now uh, come to the third segment, uh, the open mic. The name and order of questioners uh, is being displayed on the screen. Uh, can I ask the questioners to proceed to the microphone, which I'm holding right now, so... Um, it's going to circulate with it. Okay. And uh, I'm going to just take it over there. So the questioners, uh, please ask your questions at the microphone. After the question is answered, you may return to your seat. And um, questions, are, questions are limited to 30 seconds, and the answers are going to be limited to two minutes. And we ask you to uh, choose which uh, candidate you want to answer your question. Hello, I'm Jane Garland. I'm relatively new to Lions Bay. Uh, one concern I hear about the land use master plan is the concern about maintenance of property values. To me, view preservation is key to maintenance of property value. So I would like to ask, whether you would support some sort of good neighbor policy with regard to dealing with uh, private or public neighbors in order to maintain the uh, preservation. And who did you want to direct the question to? Oh, to Brenda, please. Thank you. This is a great question. Our OCP actually responds to this and says yes. Uh, so people are, uh, people love their trees who love their trees and people love their views who love their views and people who have both love both. And we really need to honor that and make sure that uh, when we're uh, involved in any redevelopment that we do, view that we're involved in view protection for sure. Um, but certainly within our OCP today, uh, our OCP today talks about the importance of uh, thinking about and being wise about view protection. I don't know if that answers your question. Um, perhaps I could have a little bit of a clarification. Are you talking about when there's development? No, I'm talking about when the houses were built 30 years ago, they had great views and now the trees are really big and the views aren't so great. Thank you. Uh, that is an issue that is in our OCP. And it is an issue that uh, I, I love the water. I was born in Prince Rupert. And what I really gained from these 297 pages, I really got to know a lot about this community and the thoughtfulness. It doesn't matter whether people agreed or disagreed and had differing views from myself. The difference was important, and that's an important thing for us to honor and understand. And I do support the maintenance of views. Thank you. Just one. Just one. Oh, just one. This was really for counselors. But, um, I'd like to know how long Mr. Belfort has lived in Lions Bay and what he thinks of the YouTube page posting of council minutes in snippets of what someone finds relevant. Do you think that this is a positive use of time for the community and promotes ability, a building of community spirit? Or would you help to shut it down? Thank you. You know, I'm not, so, I'm not sure how to answer that question because it's a long one, but maybe it can be repeated for clarification if I miss it. Um, I lived in the village two and a half years. How long do you have to live in the village before you're considered one of us? <laughs> this attitude, you have to change it. Either you're in or you're out. It doesn't matter how long you've lived here. It doesn't matter who you are. You're with us. We live. We're here together. On the second question about the YouTube, uh, you, are you talking about YouTube videos? I've never, I've never seen any, so I can't really answer the question. I've been told about these things, so I'm not sure how to answer the question. Other than reason surmise, if the village has gone so far that you have to put YouTube snippets of councillors and mayors and people out there for the world to see, that needs to change. That's hostility. Mean spiritedness and this thing that has to start from the top down. Thank you.
Sheldon Goldberg, who would you like to pose a question to? Well, you know what? I, I just want a yes or no answer, so I'd really like to ask all three of them. Right. <laughs> you got 30 seconds. Okay. So my question is, if you're elected, would you allow Lump to go to a referendum so every resident and property owner would be able to vote on it? Yes or no? Ask each one. Okay. Well, Brenda. Uh, okay. Okay. So, if if elected, uh, would you allow Lump to go to a referendum so every resident and property owner would have a vote on it? Yes or no? Yes or no? You know, uh, Sheldon, I, I really very much respect that, so I can say yes and no, depending on what the community wants. Honestly, after reading the 297 pages, what, what I do know is that the... Oh, so I'll, I'll pass it along. My answer is this, the draft lump was so flawed and inconceived, it's not worth talking about anymore. Let's dump it and get to a recovery period. What I would put out for discussion is an informed debate with everybody knowing what the pluses and minuses are regarding development, massive development, high density, and everything that goes along with it. I don't think the lump is what we want to put out if you want informed debate. No. Given the fact that our excellent candidates uh, will not just answer yes or no, I think we're going to stick to the rules. You get to ask your question of one candidate only. Uh, Sally Pollock. Uh, you don't look like Sally. Who would you like to <laughs> I'm, I'm not Sally, and I recognize that you would like me to ask the question of one candidate only. And I would like to ask, if I may in actual fact, be able to ask my question to all candidates, because it's my question. <laughs> and I think it's a relevant question. So my question to all candidates is simply this. Are any of you, or do any of you feel that you're associated directly with any other candidates that are running, or are you running entirely independent of everybody else to serve the community by yourself for the good of the community? So we're going to share the two minutes between all three of you. Maybe time about 45 seconds or so. Thank you. Uh, I'm not running in a point or a coalition or a slate or any of the other these political terms that I've uh, learned. Um, I agree with the positions of uh, some people who've been on council before and some people are running for the first time. I would hope that if we were in council together, um, we would see eye to eye on certain aspects of uh, things that come before us, and I'm sure that we will disagree, uh, especially on the brewery. I'm running with a whole bunch of people. Everybody's got the best interests of Lions Bay at heart, and that includes everybody in this room. I'm running with all of you. I'm running, as I always do, as an individual that's thought of what I can contribute to you again. Uh, and that is a long process, it's a thoughtful process. I would also say that there are skilled, I, I recognize that skilled and seasoned people are contributing uh, and running in this election, and I do see that as a significant opportunity for Lions Bay to have stability and creativity moving forward. So I will always work with everyone and all of you and each of the candidates, but I do want to say that I do feel that that is significant and it's not something that I'm running on a slate at all. Thank you. Thank you, candidates. John Bradley, who would you like to pose your question to? Well, unfortunately, I would also like to pose the question <laughs> to all three candidates. And it's just a very quick one. Over. 
40 for a long time now, there have been lots of sort of virulent attacks against mayor and council and various um, emails arrived with no names on them at my house and I didn't like YouTube videos. What I'm asking, a lot of people who have been arguing against council have a lot of energy and they have a, they're bright people and they have a lot of good ideas. What I'd like to ask the new uh, whoever it is mayor to somehow find those people who are putting all that energy into attacking and how you can bring them on site to work with council. We, need, we talk a lot about uh, harmony in nature. We need harmony amongst the people in the village now. And I'd like to try and see how you can get those people on side rather than attacking us all the time. Forty-five seconds if you'd like to uh, address that. Thank you. I have thought long and hard about this, and you know, I, as people were coming in this evening, giving them hugs, uh, different candidates, and I think that that's sort of where my head and heart comes from. That you know, they probably each one of the candidates before me, and and certainly up at this table, although I haven't had the opportunity with Mr. Belfall, but we've worked in some kind of context together, and I see that as entirely possible. So what would I do? I've been thinking a lot about that, and I thought that maybe those are one-on-one -on -one discussions, a real coffee, breaking bread together, and, and seeing where and how we can move together forward in a very positive manner. So that's what I think I have to add here. Mr. Belfall? You know, I'm not sure how to answer that question other than the two things I've said before and the same hostility comments that I made. You have to ask the question, if there is that kind of stuff going on, I cannot attest to it, Mr. Dudley. I haven't seen it. If it exists, why does it exist? The way I would deal with it, I think you have to put openness and transparency back in place in terms of the dictionary meaning of the terms. I think we have to treat residents as open and as friendly as we have and make sure that people are treated properly with respect when they ask questions. I don't know why it's become this way, and to be frank, I don't think we need it to be this way anymore. It has to change. It's just a symptom of another cause. Um, I spoke earlier about businesses who, uh, who have a hierarchies, competition, and a profit motive. Uh, municipalities have a secret weapon, that's volunteers. Uh, I believe that we need to put our money where our mouths is, are, um, and ensure that our willing volunteers are put to use and listened to. Uh, if I was mayor, I would institute a volunteer tax credit to incentivize people to volunteer their time and expertise and effort. Um, council themselves are volunteers. They do, don't deserve any personal attack whatsoever. We will address the perennial problems that, that give rise to suspicion, uh, um, closed door, and I don't mean in camera, I mean um, secret discussions about people that, uh, that need to be addressed. Thank you. Uh, this is your community and this is your night, so we're trying to be as flexible as we can to your uh, desires and wishes. Uh, we're going to try to enforce, though, the 30-minute duration for the segment, so if, if we get more of the candidates to answer the question, there may be less questions asked. That's the trade-off. Um,